to a Sacramento Thanksgiving tradition. Thousands of runners took part in today's Run to Feed the Hungry. It's the largest Thanksgiving Day race in the country, and it's the biggest one day fundraiser for the Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services. KCRE 3's Brittany Johnson has a look at today's event and tells us what participants are most thankful for this Thanksgiving Day. Five, four, three, two, one, go! And just like that, a Sacramento Thanksgiving Day tradition is back in full force. Run to Feed the Hungry returned in person after the pandemic forced an entirely virtual event last year. Oh my goodness, hi, gingerbread person. People happy to be back amongst friends and loved ones, participating in either the five or 10K races in person. It's so good, uh, nothing like the crowd and feeling uh, everybody's excitement. It just makes it more fun. Live Copter 3 giving you the view from above, showing the more than 27,000 who converged on East Sacramento Thanksgiving morning. The biggest fundraiser for Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services. Some coming from out of state, even out of the country for a good cause. I'm from Africa. This is my first time here. I love it. I love the people of Sacramento. I feel so proud to be able to walk and raise money for people to feed the hungry. From kids. What's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Um, spending time with my family. To adults. Everyone a little extra thankful for various reasons this Thanksgiving Day. Everything, life. I am grateful for life. <laughs> Happiness for everyone. And staying safe. And being good to everyone also. Thank you very much. I like that. Oh yeah, positive. <laughs> Always positive. If I'm thankful for waking up in the morning with breath. I'm thankful for God. I'm thankful for the food. <laughs> thankful for our, I'm our thankful house. Thankful for you to end our coverage because I don't think we could have said it. You're our last interview of the day. Okay. Now let's go get some turkey. Not TV all the time. Let's go eat. <laughs> okay, let's go. In Sacramento, Brittany Johnson, KCRA 3 News. Getting some gratitude in the attitude, as my mom says. All right, the organizers say this year's event has raised more than $900,000. And here is one more thing that makes the Run to Feed the Hungry so special. Meet Dorothy Leviach. She's 97 years old and has lived in a house along the race course for 61 years. Dorothy is well known as the woman who would sit on her front lawn and ring this bell to encourage the runners. She has now moved inside, as you can see, but still enjoys watching everyone run by her house. Uh, a little girl came up to the door and said, oh, are you the lady that was used to sit out in there ringing your bell, <laughs> ringing your bell? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, I'm the lady. And she said, oh, well, then you're still living. And I said, yes, I'm still living. <laughs> <laughs> she says her family has run in every run to feed the hungry. They started when they were young and now are grown.